Well, hey, neighbors, and welcome to this episode of... Oh, shit, I did up. No, I'm just kidding, neighbors. This is going to be a how-to. In this video, I'm going to show you on your steel 017s, 018s, and your other chainsaws that have these little needle bearings in the arm. Well, that's not going to work, neighbors. But guess what? There's a way to put these back. And it even says this is how you do it in the service manual. I've thought for all these years, when I used to do this in the past, I was doing people dirty. And I put a saw together like this when I first started out again. And it's still sitting down there because I thought, no, I can't sell that. And then a few months ago, I was reading some service manuals. And in the 017, it says to do exactly what I've been doing all these years. So I thought, isn't this wonderful? If you've taken your 017 apart that only has one counterweight and all these fell out on you, I'm going to show you the way Steel says to put them back in. So let's turn you down to the bench, neighbors, and we'll get right to it. Okay, neighbors, so here, here we are with an 017 that I've put through an ultrasonic bath. That's why it sounds so nice. we got to replace the bearings. Uh, but I'm just going to show you, while I've got it setting out, I'll have to put them back on again later because you got to do it all at once. And sometimes it's easier to have your piston inside of your cylinder and then put these in. But neighbors, it's very simple. And too much is better than not enough right now. We can always take excess later. Listen, neighbors, all you do is hold your arm out of the way and put you a whole bunch of nice, thick, heavy grease here. Okay, neighbors, it's not hard. And then you're just going to start sticking those in there, neighbors, and the grease will hold it in place for you. Okay, I like to uh, also sometimes use my needle nose pliers are helpful, but you want to make sure they're nice and clean, neighbors. You don't want no dust on them, okay? You don't want dirt in this stuff. It will seep, kill, and destroy the heart of your chainsaw. And also, something that can help you too, you can stick these to your flywheel while you're cleaning your chainsaw parts, and it will help magnetize them a little bit, and sometimes that can help as well. Okay, neighbors, see, neighbors, it's not hard. We're just going to keep going around, neighbors. Okay. Now, I'm just carefully rolling these down. Okay, neighbors, now I'm going to put a bunch more grease. Remember, too much is better than not enough on this application. Okay, now I'm just adding some grease to help hold them on on the outside, neighbors. It's kind of like buying insurance, even though the insurance companies are doing us dirty. Okay, now I'm going to roll these around because it's easier for me to work it from over here. Okay, neighbors, we're almost there. Neighbors, look, we've only got a few left. Neighbors, guess what? I got two more of these I got to take apart. And these almost always fall out as soon as you pull your piston out of your crank. Oh no, neighbors, my grease gun has stopped at a terrible time. Looks like we're going to get just enough to finish the job, I think, neighbors. Okay, and then we'll get those nice and even around, neighbors. Push them into place. Just take your time. You don't want to knock them all back out. And like I said, use tons of grease. The grease is your... Oh, we missed one, neighbors. We can't have that. That's the important thing. This only works if you didn't lose any. And if you lost one, neighbors, well, I don't know if they make 
or if they still sell these in the set or not. I imagine somebody on eBay probably has them. And I'm so sorry. Chainsaw Redeemer looked for about an hour for the service manual for you and could not find it. I have it, but it's on a memory card somewhere. I haven't printed it out yet. And then, neighbors, just bring your arm very carefully. Looks like Chainsaw Redeemer doesn't have his things pushed in all the way somewhere. Okay, just very carefully and gently start working that on there. And I wish my grease gun didn't run out. But that's okay. I got one back here that's being a bad neighbor. It slipped out. There we go, neighbors. See that, neighbors? Impresto, you're ready to install your piston into your top end. Now, neighbors, remember, lots of grease here. Even after you put them on, it's okay. You can wipe it off after you get your piston in your cylinder. But what I can tell you, I can tell you, you don't want them falling out while you're trying to put your piston in. So just coat it with grease all the way around real heavily like that, neighbors. Now that my grease gun is primed again, I'm going to do it because now I won't have to redo this. I can just put this in my bubble wrap bag until I'm ready to install a bunch of motors in front of you, neighbors. I've got about seven or eight motors to put together for you, even though I've only got four handles right now for these saws. Okay, that's it, neighbors. Hey, listen, neighbors, I'd really appreciate a damn thumbs up on the video. I don't know why y'all watch these videos all the way damn through and you can't give Chainsaw Redeemer a little thumbs up, okay? So, if this video helped you out, and I would think if you're here watching this damn video, it's because you've had this damn problem. And so, if it helped you out, please like the video. And hey, you got to subscribe because guess what? I'm giving one of these chainsaws away. At 250 subscribers, I'm either going to give one away that I build during this big... Uh, build that I'm doing a bunch of them just a bunch of them ain't gonna have handles on them because Chase Hall Redeemer don't have handels if you got some 017 handles 170 018 180 handles for sale for really cheap Chase Hall Redeemer would like to know you can comment down below or small engine redemption at gmail.com and neighbors please subscribe to the channel so you can win a damn chainsaw all you got to do right now is be subscribed to the channel like any video that I mentioned the giveaway in such as this video and comment on said video and then when we hit 250 subscribers and I let you know that I've either uploaded the series or that we're going to go ahead and start building one, then you'll know if you have to do anything further. But you probably won't. You'll just have to be paying attention then because I'll tell you who wins with the chainsaw when it's done. Okay, neighbors? Until next time, be kind to everyone. Everyone's facing their own battle.